grocery prices, a top concern for many Americans as we head toward the November election. A recent Fox News poll, in fact, shows that the economy is the number one issue for voters this year above crime and immigration. Fox 10's Brian Webb is live tonight with a look at what's going on. Brian. Hey guys, yeah, a recent Fox News poll shows that nearly 80% of Americans are cutting back on basic items even as inflation begins to cool. So what's to blame? We went to an expert to find out. Ask about anybody you see on the street and they'll tell you about grocery prices, the good, the bad, and the ugly. I think the grocery prices are really ridiculous right now. I mean, how can you afford food to be able to support your family? Everything skyrocketed. Um, you know, just general things like toothpaste and things that everybody needs is insane right now. Inflation fell in July to its lowest levels in three years, but food prices are still 21% higher than three years ago, according to the Associated Press. For the most part, it's supply-driven inflation, which means that prices go up because you can't get stuff because of broken supply chains. Dale Rogers is a supply chain expert at ASU. He says this isn't your grandma's kind of inflation. Supply and demand has been replaced by supply chain problems, less competition, and corporations keeping extra profits. You know, they're, they're caused by some sort of supply chain disruption, but then they tend to be sticky up, you know, because, oh, we could get this, um, when there are supply problems, let's see if we can keep it. And Driving higher prices from tomatoes to toothpaste and toilet paper and perhaps driving voters to the polls. It ain't as bad as it once was. Maybe like a year or two ago, it was kind of crazy. Five, six dollars for eggs. So things kind of leveled out a little bit, at least from what I'm seeing. Everybody's going to get some type of profit from something, from somewhere. So, from us. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I think it, they, there is definitely some type of profit going on. I just, you know, I wouldn't know where. The Associated Press reports beef and chicken prices are up more than 30 percent since the pandemic began, and four large corporations control 55 to 85 percent of the supply. Brian Webb, Fox 10 News.